We are just seconds away from this morning's rescheduled launch of the Freedom 4. The crew looked calm and relaxed as they boarded the lifter on their mission to complete America's mighty Freedom Star. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7. We have main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of the Freedom 4. Writing a new chapter of security in space for the United States of America. It is with a profound sadness that I address you here this morning. At 7.45 a.m., we experienced a national tragedy when the Freedom 4 lifter exploded. My fellow Americans, we will never forget this morning how they climbed skyward only to be struck by a thunder that split the clouds and woke the world. We stand at DEFCON 1, Your ready for action. Of nothing, the motherland will not wait for you to be on the clear system. Our fury is righteous. We did not start this war. We will end it. What's up, everybody? It's Brantman19 coming to you now with the official start to World War III. Now, we've been building up to this for about seven episodes now, and um, it's finally happening. Uh, America is attacking Europe, Russia is attacking Europe, I, I, that's what we've gotten to so far. And as you can see from that clip I just played, that is how things really got started. That's what we did in that last mission, that's what we worked up to. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, that played the second after I ended the video. Like I went ahead and I hit out and I was just going to go out and save the video and that little that large clip there played and um i was then forced to decide between what faction i was going to play right then and there i couldn't get out of it and then take whatever you guys asked for and put that to use so pretty much i went ahead and i just picked the first one i felt like you know would be the most fun and the most entertaining at the same time and that would be the russians so let's go ahead we're going to hop on in this campaign and here we are playing the Russians. Russia has joined with America to put an immediate halt to European aggression. Our valiant forces have crossed the border to liberate Poland from the iron fist of European rule. A mere 20 minutes after the United States declared war on our nation, Russia has declared war also. Its armies have crossed the Polish border, attacking towards Warsaw, where elite enforcers, core battle groups, are preparing to mount a determined defense. Okay, so, we are now kind of brought to what we want to do next. Um, there are two missions open to us, I believe. Let me see what they are. So we could either do a raid on JFK Space Center, or we could do a raid on Rosenberg. And we've seen both maps, so we know what they look like. But um, I kind of have my own special way of how I want to do this. And as Russia, my primary focus is actually going to be doing kind of like a revenge of the Russians in a way. I want the Russians to, you know, Russia's always been the people that get attacked first, and then they're kind of stuck. So what we're going to do here in Act 8, which is opening moves, is we're going to go on and we're going to be Russia, and we're going to start the attacks against the Euros. Kind of like what the game was kind of setting up to do. So let's go ahead. We're going to take this one, the raid on Rosenberg. Let's see what Putin has to say. By hitting the RPE refinery at Rosenberg, the same facility the Forgotten Army attacked but failed to damage. We will not be so merciful. Your brigade will deploy by air, destroy the target structures indicated on the map, and Europe will be burning through their strategic reserves in no time. For the motherland, Colonel. No mistakes. Okay, so as this is a raid, the entire job is just to destroy the strong points. 
I don't think you have to capture anything really, so let's uh let's hop on in here. We'll go ahead and give it a shot. Alright. Here we are, and something we haven't seen yet are the command vehicles. These uh are here to help us pick out special things. They also have some pretty cool little abilities, so let's go ahead, we're gonna take Yes, we understand. I know what a raid does. I think you all do too. We're going to put, let's see, these engineers, they're going to focus on capturing these spots for me. And I'm going to go ahead and put ourselves a gunship crew as well. And we're going to advance to that corner on the map. Now, the reason why I want a gunship crew is I'm going to go ahead and just have exactly who we need to support these attacks all on the first blow. We'll go ahead and we'll pull uh, Papa Bear, our command ship, right on out. Who do you see? Ah, oh, there's gunships. Okay. And the good news is that we're all right here, ready to shoot, so... There you go. Yeah, attack my gunships. You're not even doing that much damage. And our tanks are coming in to take on their transports, which they have two groups of. And that should be all they wrote right there. Yes, and we know we're gonna we can select multiple units. I really don't like this voice command thing. I should be able to choose not to be able to set it up. So, but you know you can't always get what you want. There's a whole nice song dedicated to that. Oh, these guys are getting attacked that far away. Wow. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Alright. And these guys, we're going to go ahead and air support. See, I can use air support on these individual target points as well. Which, a lot of people don't know that you can do that. So, I'm going to take advantage of the ability to do that now. Um, go ahead on in right here. Oh no, don't. Let's go. No, come on. Right there. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, there are combat drones right there. Alright. And I can use. Let's see, I'm not really worried about the gunships right now. I just want to destroy this point. Let's pull those transports in. And now we're going to move these... Oh, come on. I don't like mission supports. Get out of the way. And now we're going to go ahead and take Delta. Now, as for the flow of the campaign itself, I kind of just have the idea that I'll... Uh, I'll move my forces, or like I'll, I'll go each video, excuse me, by uh, who is, uh, you know, by the turn itself. I'm not going to do it by anything super special. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Yeah, you guys are attacking the transports as hard as you can. Oh, they didn't hit it. Dang, that was a waste. Okay. Y'all move up a little bit. Let's... Alright. Now, can you attack that, please? Thank you. There we go. And they keep wanting me to do the sit rep, which this is what the sit rep is right here. It's basically an overview of the map. Easier to run things, I guess. Um, I don't like using it because you don't see any action. Now, I'll use it for this part, though. 
it's easier to put in my airstrikes exactly how I want them. Oh, that's no bueno. Come here. Push this away, please. Now then, we're going to lose a tank or two here. And they lost their whole shield first, though. That's the that's the important stuff, right? Keep your eye on mission countdown. It's picking away. Okay. Yeah, we only have 10 minutes left to finish the raid, but I think we'll be just fine. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to attack this one again. Yeah, everything went fine here. Alright, y'all keep attacking. We need everybody to do their job. And you guys are going to do air support. Mission is going well, sir. Yeah, I think it's going well too. We're about to take out another point. After this, we'll attack Whiskey. And as you can see, it's you know, what it was up what right here, and it's already gone, so that's good news. Good news for us, bad news bears for them. Come on now. Really hard to take these points out, obviously. I want to go ahead and take it out and be moving. There you go. Actually, attack that one. We're going to use... I would love to see this one go in because I have a feeling it's going to blow up some huge uh, actual oil tanks. It would be really cool to see that, but... I don't think we'll get around to doing that. Yep, it did happen. And there it is. Quick little raid on a gas facility. Alright, let's take a look here. Alright, and four units were promoted. I did two units were knocked out. They were they did survive, and I got a nice little award here. Let's go ahead and exit here. Let's see, did that complete the turn? Yeah, I think so. The daring raid against Europe's refinery at Rosenburg in the Netherlands was deemed an extraordinary success. With America now at war against Russia, President Kapalkin is warning Motherland could face attack at any moment. Accordingly, thousands of civilians have chosen to evacuate Moscow. Oh, wow. All who remain must comply with strict curfews and administration of justice by military tribunal. <laughs> Well, all right then. Um, so basically, as, you know, as you can tell, the world has now fully prepared. Um, we are now on to Act Nine, um, which is retaliation. And I, you know, I think we might wait on the uh, next part of that right there, and we'll wait, we'll save that one for next time. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.